Hello, and welcome to another edition of the Director's Video Postcard. Over the years, the Maritime Museum has done a number of studies of invasive species. We've worked with the University of Vermont to study how zebra mussels can impact shipwrecks. We're concerned about how these invasive species impact our dynamic and sometimes fragile ecosystem. Let's go and join our dive team down on Lake George as they take a closer look at Asian clams. Good morning, my name is Sarah Tishinuk. I'm with the archaeological dive team with the Lake Champlain Maritime Museum. And we are here on beautiful Lake George in Bolton Landing, New York, uh, I'm looking for the Asian clam, which is an invasive species in Lake George. Uh, we are working with the Lake George Park Commission trying to eradicate this invasive species. Push from that end. Do you want your stern swung out? Yeah, you can swing it. Thank you. Um, we're out here in uh, Shelving Rock Bay in Lake George and we're doing an Asian clam survey to find out where the invasive Asian clam populations uh, are currently located. Um, Asian clam was discovered on Lake George in uh, 2010 and we've spent a few years working to identify locations and eradicating them before they become so populous in the lake that we simply can't control them anymore. The Asian clam is an invasive species of freshwater clam now discovered in several sites around Lake George. If their population is left unchecked, they will outcompete the native species for food, and their excreted material will cause increased blooms of algae. A single clam can produce as many as 8,000 juveniles in a year, so it will not take long for this species to dominate the lake bottom. In order to combat this species, our dive team was brought in by the Lake George Park Commission to determine the precise location of the Asian clam infestation. At each site, we lay out tapes and take samples of the bottom. The sediment is shaken through a screen, and we look for any live clams. If a clam is found, we record its precise location using GPS. This data will inform the treatment process, which will happen again this fall. 50-foot-long PVC mats are laid down to reduce the water's oxygen content, smothering the clams. If you're interested in learning more about this critical project, go to www.stoptheasianclam.info. Thanks for being a member. Your support makes all of this possible. 